Hey guys, the Trout91 here, and today we are doing the Vector in the Custom Class Guide. And the Vector is a very interesting gun because it's got a fast rate of fire with low recoil, but ultimately has low damage with simple iron sights and can run for ammo pretty fast. And I say the best sidearm is definitely the shotgun. My favorite attachment is the silencer because ultimately the silencer doesn't really affect the rate of fire. And if I miss some shots, I'm pretty much hidden from the silencer and it's the one I prefer the most out of all of them. I pick scavenger usually just because this gun really does run through ammo a lot. And this gun isn't really one you want to be going without scavenger on. Stopping power because it does have a low amount of damage and that's what I usually pick. And ninja, I dabble between that and steady aim. Now this is the setup that I really want to bring to people's attention. It's the Vector with the Bling Hardline Ninja and the Bling being the Silencer and Rapid Fire. Now I think I was trying to get some challenges done and I tested out this kind of bizarre, you could say, setup and it actually is very good. If you're a person who doesn't tend to hit those high kill streaks or doesn't want to and is more concerned about getting simple simple air support up in the air, simple kills very quickly and very easily. This is definitely one to try out because normally on its own, rapid fire on its own or silencer on its own without stopping power is not the greatest, but when combined they are very, very good. And if you can average about two kills per magazine of the gun, you should be pretty much golden for maxing out your kill streak rewards, which is pretty damn good. And then I'd recommend putting on something like a Spas 12 shotgun or any other powerful sidearm for once you run out of ammo, because you will eventually run out of ammo. Now the third setup is something I'd put on for Search and Destroy, but it's got the Marathon and Extended Mags. Now Marathon's good for rushing, especially if you're trying to rush for the B flag on nomination. I would pick Extended Mags because the gun does run through ammo quite fast and it's not the greatest multi-killer. Um, extended Mags is probably your best option if you're not comfortable with your accuracy or not comfortable with this gun simply because of the fact that you you do run through ammo pretty fast and if you've got multiple enemies you're not going to quite get them. And if you do, as you'll see here in a minute, try and shoot people at a distance, you're going to need every bullet you can. So I would definitely recommend the extended mags if you can get them. Otherwise, probably stick with the silencer. This is just a little extra class that I think would be very good with the vector. And it's proven to be very good. Right there is what I'm talking about with the extended mags. If I had run out of ammo, that wouldn't have been great to have to reload or whatever. So, uh, that was the Vector. The next one will be the P90. I hope you liked it, and I'll see you later. Peace.